Der Club ist für mich. God bless. She has encouraged me a lot. Ministry is not a child's play. I'm telling you, ministry is tough. Sometimes you go deep down to zero. Think about when you are going to zero, you don't have food the whole week. Your wife says, you will make it, my husband. You will make it. Sometimes the wives of pastors are being insulted a lot, rejected, and hated for nothing. People pretend on them. They do many things, but you don't know what they faced. You don't know what they faced. You don't know. My wife will make sure that when I go to church, I had one trouser. One trouser. Me, I don't mind to wear one trouser. Even now. I had one trouser. She will iron it. My trouser will be ironed to extend that. You, <laughs> uh, this one will be like so straight like this. But I know this is an old trouser. You won't even know it's an old trouser. I was preaching. But when I reach home, there's no food. <laughs> I was like, my God, what is happening? I'm doing everything, everything you are telling me to do. And Christians are not giving what? No one, can you send someone? And no answer. It's like my prayer was a complaint. I go, come back to church, do the ministry, it's not a chance play. I'm telling you now. Come back, I have to preach the same way like, you know, like my stomach was full, whereas I'm hungry. I have to, are you, are you what I'm trying to say? I'm telling pastors what I'm saying. You pastors, I know what you're going through. I know. You might be going through the worst that I went through, or the same, or better. But everything becomes a lesson. You're in the college of God. One day, you will forget. Amen. God will make you to forget. So, do not look at your situation. Do not look at your situation. Like, what is happening to this man? This man. Devil wants him to stop. This man. What devil wants to do? He wants you to stop praying. You understand? He's attacking you left, right. Everything is worse. I mean, that is true. And he's trying to kill people here. You want to kill your children. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Uh, Yes. You want to kill so that you stop. Mm. But when you carry on, pray, pray the way you are praying. Mm. One day you wake up, you see the angel is standing here. Amen, Daddy. Don't give up. You are Amen. close to your destiny. Amen, Daddy. Amen. Amen. So, what Satan wants to do? He wants to confuse you. Yes. He just wants to confuse you. He, he uses different things that we go through. Whatever you are going through here is satire. You want to stop you so that you must not move forward. Are you hearing me? You that. look at the situation. Ah, look here, I'm doing everything for God. I'm doing this. There's no progress. Why? Amen. I'm, I'm trying to do this, do this, do this. I fasted. Sometimes I fast without fasting. But no anointing. Fast without fasting. Sometimes you fast because you don't have food of afternoon. Just say, Lord, I won't eat this food. I will eat it in the evening. When evening comes, nobody brings food during the day. You say, oh, Lord, I will eat it tomorrow morning. <clears throat> you realize time is going. You are becoming thin. Fast without fasting. You have faith, believing God to change. Amen. Ministry is not a chance play. Amen. God can put you in a 30 days fasting. Not because you want, no. You are led. You are led. There was a time I fasted, I even forget the days. I forget that today is what? Oh, I just hear that it's Sunday. People are coming to me. I have to preach. And I have to do like this. <laughs> to gain the strength. Because everybody is expecting to hear the word of God. You finish preaching, no offering. There was a time my wife, uh, she make a garden 
I'm not saying this by boosting. What I'm trying to say here, I'm seeing what you're going through. Rise up from where you are. God will never allow you to pass any stage without being tested. God will never. You, you, before he answers your prayer, you don't know what I went through. That other people now, like my daughter here, my son, they're enjoying themselves. Sometimes I look at them and say, hey, someone have to pay the price for other people. If you don't know, you, you might be the one who's supposed to pay the price for your generation. So now you, you, are, you, you look at this. Ah, you see, look at your children, look at your grandchildren. Oh, they come and say, yeah, yeah. They come to me and run and hug me like this. And I check, ah, am I old now like this? That I have these grandchildren. I'm telling you, you must pay the price. Pay the price. Pay the price. You pay the price of insults, rejection, persecution, all these things. If you don't go through that, some people think ministry, ah, you are here to offering. You get offering, there's no offering. That's why even the criminals, they are going for phones. They don't go for money. There's no money in church. There's no money in church. There's no offering in church. I'm telling you, they will invite you and give you 2,000 rand or $1,000. There's no money in church. So what we have to do here is to pay the price. Pay the, are you hearing me? Allow this thing to happen to you. God is preparing you for the best that is coming. There will be a time you will forget. God bless you. When I'm saying this, I'm not saying I've arrived, no. I'm trying to show you what I went through that, to me, when I respect pastors, people, they don't know about pastors. They're just talking. They don't know what you go through. They don't know. They don't know how many times you are crying. They don't know. Especially congregants, they just say, Amen. 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 Um, you, you feel like they say amen. They say amen. Ah, and you are preaching. They say amen. Ah, amen. Ah, amen. Ah, there comes someone who can just change his name. Someone will just come and say, I'm, I'm, I'm Prophet Gabriel. I'm Prophet Gabriel. From there, you find people are running there. Yourself, if you are called indeed, you must go through problem. Because you are fighting Satan, you are holding a candle, and the wind is blowing. You, you, you blow, you blow like this, without direction. People will just question, are you a pastor? Truly. <laughs> eh? I look at that one. Some people expect you that when you're a pastor, you rise up so quick. You rise up so quick. I'm telling you even now, there are other people who are prophesying the truth. Ministry is no prophecy. You, you, you prophesy these people, prophesy, and you are prophesying the truth, but people are just watching you. You say, oh, this man can prophesy. Eh? And they are sitting on top of us and say, yeah, this man, yeah. Ah, this man can see. I'll go for business tomorrow. They come and see you for business. Say, hey, my business. You explain to them, you see what? Yes, you have got Gogo Hum Hum, and you have got Malume Hum Hum, and Hum your mother is Hum Hum. What are you? are born in this village. What are hey! Oh, this guy can prophesy. Let me give him 1,000 rand. Yeah. From there, when you are going out, Holy Spirit says, take that 1,000, give it that one. <laughs> because it's a curse to you. So, ministry is not this issue that you get money. The servants of God here, there's a lot. Sometimes when you are busy preaching, you see, you are busy preaching, you find someone like this. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you, are, you are shouting, you know what? The Bible says, you know, and, and you, you just, your eyes just say, Kah. when you look, you realize there's someone there. A 
and you are shouting, you know what? The Bible says, hey, what? And you think you will wake that person up. Is the more you are pumping. <laughs> hey, you, you just say time of offering. You say the way he's wearing tie. He's wearing tie and his specs like this. Can't you the specs belong to his uncle? <laughs> he, you, you are preaching, focusing on him. Oh my God. He uh, uh, just said, because I have to go to church. And I don't have any, I have to take my specs of my ankle. And you are, you are not looking, these are all specs. And then you have got big stomach here. Say, so, uh, today, God has sent this man to come and give. You sleep there, he's snoring there. Now you say, time to give, you wake up. <laughs> you don't know these people. Oh my God! He just, he just say, "Oh man," that is cleaning his mouth. He just, and now he's coming to give offering. He just hold two rand. <laughs> you are checking just. <laughs> Go outside. You see, you have another friend of him. Also, they have big stomach like this. They are going there. You realize that you were preaching, looking at them, that maybe God sent them. Can't you? They are not even sent. So when you're a child of God, you forget people. Sometimes you don't even look at them, you just preach, 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 preach. You enjoy yourself. I don't know if you hear me. You preach, you preach, you enjoy, you do the work of God, you leave them. Say, so God bless you. You love everyone, you go home. So I'm just saying this for pastors. Clap hands for this pastor. These pastors are going through it. <laughs> pastors are going through a lot. Give, give me a mic. We asked five pastors. And by doing that, it's like prayer to you, and God is changing situation. Greetings in the name of Jesus. <coughs> uh, what did he said? It happened to me in 2021, whereby everyone who was around, those who were the pillar of the church, they left the church. The church was divided. So I was alone. No one was there for me. I lost everything. The money that was left, I took it and invested in business. Uh, all the partners, they betrayed me. I didn't have food to eat for the whole year of 2021. My family was not there for me. But by the grace of God, whenever, when his month end, I don't know what has happened. I will just see people whom I don't know to come and give me money. When I look at the money, it was exactly the money for me to pay the rent. But for food, it was difficult in such a way that some of the men of God, they said to me, stop fasting, and I was not fasting. But it's because of the situation. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You're right. May God give you strength. 